Hello, it's Roger Bisby here from Skill Builder, and I've come down to the Redland National Training Centre on the edge of the Cotswolds. And what I'm looking at today is large format roofing tiles, sort of pan tiles, that kind of thing, and mechanical fixing, because we all know that the weather's not getting better, we're getting more and more freak storms, and so the specification on fixing roof tiles has been changed to take account of this. Now a lot of people think that when you get a high wind, what's happening is the wind is blowing up under the tiles and lifting them. But actually what's happening is the wind is going over the top of the roof and it's creating suction on the lee side. Rather in the same way that you would with an aircraft wing, it's creating that lift. And if you think about how many tonnes that can lift up, you know, a 747 or something like that, jumbo jets, it can easily take the roof tiles off. So in order to counter that, what they now do is insist that every single one of these roof tiles is mechanically fixed. Now you could nail them, but if you're looking at a much simpler and quicker method, a stainless steel clip such as this one, the inner fix from Redland, is a much better and quicker method of doing it. In some cases, around the edge, you want a double fixing, so you would nail the tile and also clip it. Now there's a few different clips on the market and I've tried a few of them and some of them are very cumbersome to do, which is why a lot of roofing contractors just won't bother. So what a lot of the guys are used to using, and you simply put it over the edge of the tile there, and then you've got to drive that nail in to the edge of the batten. So they get pretty quick at doing that. It doesn't have to be driven hard in all the way down but it has to be driven in far enough. But it has to be driven in far enough to make sure that that clip won't lift out and that, that tile is fixed down. So, now here's another clip that is commonly used. And this one is an all-in-one clip. You don't have a loose nail. You just simply position the edge of the clip onto the tile like that and then you knock the clip down into the batten like that and it's okay I mean once you get used to it it's probably not a bad little system to do but I'm finding it difficult to find the exact point on the batten where that nails in because it's really ideally going to go in the middle of the batten there. So if you're having a new roof fitted, you want to make sure that it's properly clipped. If you don't and that roof blows off, your insurance company may not want to pay out. So it's very important that you check this detail. So let's have a look at how this clip works and how it secures those roof tiles down so that they can't blow off even in a big storm. So this is the Innerfix clip. This is stainless steel and it comes from Redland and it's color coded so that you can see you've got the right clip for the right tile. That's very important because you don't want to be putting the wrong clip on for the tile. It's all to do with the thickness of the edge here. Some are thinner than others. And what happens, it's a very simple thing. I'll just show you up here away from the tile. And you can see that the clip actually slides under the batten like that hooks under the batten and hooks over the edge of the tile so it holds the tile and stops it lifting but it's not done there i just showed you that just for clarity it's done on the overlap so that's it the inner fix clip from redland very simple idea but very effective and quick and easy to use really there's no excuse for not using it so check out your roofing contractor and check that every time they put down one of these tiles that it's securely mechanically fixed. I'm Roger Bisby, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Don't forget to use the comments box and subscribe. We love to hear from you and we want to build the subscribers up as much as we can.